If I take two superconducting materials, any kind, and I join them with some weak link, any kind again, I cool the superconducting material below the critical temperature, and I get a current at zero voltage. That does not make any sense. So let me show you the plot. On the x-axis you have voltage, on the y-axis you have current. Here at zero voltage you have a current spike. Now this region is your normal ohmic behavior where V is equals to IR kind of behavior you see. And this is some pickup voltage, biasing and all. But the point is at zero voltage you are getting some current. And this is a big thing because you know using these Josephson junctions you can create switches inside a quantum computer just like transistors you have in a normal computer you can use this as a switch kind of thing inside a quantum computer plus you can use these to make something called squids that is used to detect the tiniest changes in the magnetic field that is very very cool